going to follow here are some clips uh, I've taken myself of just the construction of the perimeter wall. Uh, the Thai cultural perimeter wall is a pretty big deal. Um, anyone looking to build a home or have any involvement with land in Thailand, you'll, you'll be looking at this at some point. Um, the construction is pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, the cost isn't too bad. They're, they're mostly labor, and the labor is extremely reasonable here. There's no other way to say it. And um, it, it's got some culture and some legal uh, uh, importance, I guess. I wanted to have the wall pulled back from the perimeter of the actual property border more, and Kun Pa who rarely pushes back on anything with me, said, no, 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 you can't do that. And I'm like, well, why not? And, he, and, he, and he, there was a, a, a fun, you know, my fiance was translating something about uh, there could be tax problems when the government comes around and, and, and looks at your land uh, uh, after you're done with the house or something. The wall's got to be somewhat close to your border or there's some kind of issue. So, um, it's got to go kind of, I guess there's a culture to it and is what it is. And there's a way they like to do their walls and to do something really different. It's just more of a conversation you may or may not want to have. I didn't want to have it. It wasn't that interesting to me. So I mostly just kind of went with what they do. And uh, that was that. So I'll, I'll try and narrate a little bit here and there where appropriate. And uh, we'll dive into the, uh, we'll dive into the video here. Okay, so here's the uh, the clearing and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, Fawn's parents were obviously very excited about this whole thing, and they've been champing at the bit to make more progress, but uh, they've had to wait as Fawn and I get sorted and get acquainted, and I settled in and uh, adjusted to uh, village life from <laughs> Detroit, Michigan, big adjustment. So. But anyways, and the property's a little bigger than I thought. I think when I measured it, I probably screwed up a little bit. It's That's got to be closer to two rye. Uh, I thought it was more like one and a half, but I couldn't quite get at the whole property with all the uh, thick underbrush, which is now pretty much gone. Anyway, so, um, and they've done a very good job. They found deals on everything, uh, uh, cheaper dirt than the going price around town, um, good deals on equipment and labor. Um, they're really helping, uh, and, and, and you should find that. They, the, the, the ties are generally very good people, and that should be your experience. There, there shouldn't be... Uh, Shouldn't be any problems. Any problems at this stage, and man, you know you got problems. But yeah, you know, this is all the basic site clearing and prep and grading. You can see all the light colored sand in the middle piled up a little higher where the, the house will eventually be built. This is just now we're, we started, started in the middle of the land and now we're kind of getting to the, uh, uh, the perimeter so we can start the rest of the uh, perimeter wall. Wall is Gampeng, and the uh, cultural Thai Gampeng is very important. Um, I don't, you, you almost never see a Thai build a house without one unless they're super poor or there's some other circumstance or something. It's, it's uh, like a critical, critical thing. And uh, it's very important to them. Anyway, so, yeah, I, I think half the village came out to watch this thing. And there's a good crowd out there at times, you know. And uh, after this, then we got right into the wall construction, which is pretty simple. I went with four rows of block along the front and uh, a little taller wall overall uh, since we had the columns. There is, if you can just see Kuhn Paw in the tree there. I'm at it. I'm filming on my iPhone with quite a thing. He's, well, you can hear him in the tree now. Um, he's in there, but look at the, <laughs> look at how they've, they trimmed it. And I got to put air quotes on the word trimmed with a, uh, uh, an excavating machine. They just muscled the, and Kuhn Paw will cut everything neat. And it's all fine. I, I, I truly couldn't care. I'm having fun doing this. I made a decision to go full native and not fight it. I'm not into ice skating uphill, as Blade famous, famously said in the first movie, which was awesome, by the way. And uh, so that's that. Oh, and hang on, we have a question. Yes, Kim? Oh, cool. Oh, oh, Suway, Mark, Mark, Mark. Mm, okay. Here's my morning view from my future front porch. It'll be a year and a half, two years until I'm actually sitting here in the morning, but I'm just sort of putzing on this out of my, as you know, out of my income a little bit. I'm not, there's uh, Fawn's family to that side. That's how they, they, they live in the whole, that's how the ties live. Everyone in the village is some cousin or something of hers. It's kind of fun. All right, we got Kuhn Pa running the crew here. And we're uh, setting the corner post at the, what I think is the northwest corner. Could be wrong. They've dug a hole right behind where he's standing. We're gonna put one last square column. Again, this is the less expensive wall. This is just a divider wall between family, immediate family, so you don't build as big a wall. 
culture. And then uh, here's the steel reinforcement that goes inside the, essentially it's water pipe, drain pipe, but they it's used for columns all the time, it's concrete. And uh, here's the next sequence. And you can follow that. And that goes all along to the columns over there. And over there where the actual concrete wainscoting, I'll call it, is up. And then in between will be the decorative uh, security steel above that. This is sort of, it's a hand process. We've got a uh, three to six man floating crew day by day. An average of four to five people per day. Costs about 300 bucks a week US to uh, run it plus materials. And it's gonna take them two months to build all the wall, I think, at this pace, about right. So, that's about that. We, uh, that's what we got. Yeah, I'm yet again, I'm in a muscle shirt, but I was just riding my bike again, and uh, I'm not supervising, that's all up to Green and Paul. I, 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 yay or nay, the height of the wall, location, precision, but a lot of that's dictated by tight culture, and I just go with it. Um, Kumpa gives me choices here and there. He's very respectful about the choices that are, he thinks are reasonable, and that's fine. So uh, he runs the crew, and, uh, and I just come, I came up and brought out uh, cold uh, nam cha tea, iced tea to everybody. You know, probably more like 10 weeks total time. And I would say that with the uh, landfilling and everything so far, by the time it's all done, I'll probably be at pretty close to 300,000 baht with the steel and everything in the entrance way. So that's going to be darn close to 10,000 U.S. Uh, and no household been built at that point. <laughs> she's got uh, some kind of ginger thing and some insects on a stick. Oh, Jesus, she's eating it. <laughs> really? Jingle? She ate it with the leaf. I've never Good. seen that before. I did not know that was a thing. I always open mine. Uh, I'm not eating the leaf. I don't care what she does. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.